Hey everybody, uh, I know usually I put out Tuesday videos, but uh, between trying to find a job desperately and um, trying to get some other videos and such like that done, I was trying to do SketchCon, I'm running a little bit late, all because of the job search. So instead I figured I'll post one of those uh, videos of people showing like what books they get kind of like in their pull, uh, pull box. So here's the stuff that I get uh, sent to my house. And the first thing I figure I might as well show are these three DC books. I have JLA, uh, trade paperback number one with uh, Jeff Johns and Jim Lee. I got Green Lantern, again with Johns and Doug Mackney. Uh, again, volume one. And what I'm trying to still finish up here, drop some stuff, is uh, Brian Azalero and Cliff Chang. Chang, uh, Wonder Woman Volume 1, uh, all Volume 1s of the New 52. Um, the one really cool aspect about this is I'm trying to, or I was trying to at least get a, a job over at DC. They had an editor's position opened up, and um, I wanted to kind of read up on some of the stuff going on. Um, I don't, I refuse to kind of download comics illegally, so I figured I might as well order these books to try and, um, you know, catch up on everything that's going on in the DC universe. Uh, another book I want to show, which was pretty cool, and I don't know if you can see it, I think you can, uh, over at Midtown Comics, uh, well, the one on Fulton Street, not the, the main one in Times Square, I got uh, the variant edition of Amazing Spider-Man 700, and if you can see, I have Dan Slott's autograph. He was there, really nice guy. Uh, if you ever get a chance to meet him, really, really cool guy, and just all around nice guy. What can I say? Funny. Uh, one graphic novel which I can't stop praising enough is Cardboard uh, by Doug Tenapple. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he's the guy that created uh, Earthworm Jim. And this is a huge book. Uh, over 280 some pages. And uh, this was just an unbelievable graphic novel. Kids can read it. Adults can read it. I probably want to try to do a review of it later on, but I can't speak highly enough of this book. Just totally freaking amazing. Um, another one, Vertigo book, New Dead Wardians by Dan Abnett and I.N.G. Colbert. Um, it's a fun, it's a different different take on the whole vampire story. Uh, it's a little dry since it's set overseas. Uh, but honestly, I think it's a really good book. It's a different pace, and I think people should uh, give this a shot if they can. Again, it's a little bit slow at first, but it's really fun. I'm about halfway through it right now. Uh, it's a damn good read. That's all I can say. Okay, so the stuff I get from uh, DCBS. The first thing I want to throw out that they threw in here is Help Defend, CBLDF Defend Comics, which... If I can remember correctly, Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. And I will be so proud of myself if I get that right. Uh, just telling about uh, censorship in comic books and uh, some a case that was going on where they're trying to help someone's uh, legal court fees. Uh, I don't know enough about it, so I don't want to repeat what they say in the little book here. But it makes me want to look a little bit further into it because uh, I'm all about uh, smaller government censorship and stuff like that, that. All that nice libertarian stuff. So I will leave that as is. But... There's that. I want to look into that. All right. So the first thing that came into my box this month is Amazing Amazing Spider-Man 700, the Ramos wraparound uh, cover. I don't need to talk about this. I, everyone's seen this a million times probably by now. But uh, I actually forgot I ordered it, so I was thrilled when I saw it in my pull box. That was pretty damn sweet. Not gonna lie. Pretty happy. Okay. So one of my favorite things that I always have to get first or read first out of my box. The Ghostbuster comic books. Uh, I have been a Ghostbuster fanatic since I was a little kid. And, of course, I ordered anything that comes out IDW Ghostbusters. I mean, just trying to get in a shot there. Um, this is always just some fun stuff. I always like reading. Um, I don't know. Just It's one of those things. Ghostbusters is never going to do me wrong. I absolutely love Ghostbusters. And... Um, if you're a kid of the 80s, uh, you know, 90s, love the movies, I promise you that these books are going to uh, make you laugh, smile. And I really recommend you pick up the trade paperback because it was just so much fun. And um, there's just, it, it just it, there's the throwbacks. There's so many like little things that only a real fan is going to catch. And uh, you can't help but smile. And, you know, the funny thing is they were doing a whole Mars Attack crossover thing. I don't remember ordering these books, but I got them... Anyways, so hopefully I got them for free. It'd be kind of sweet. But uh, I got the IDW Mars Attacks books. Um, I got to look into these things because I really have no freaking clue <laughs> what's in here or what I got or anything like that. Um, I, all I know is that everyone praises the comic books more than 
the atrocious movie that came out some whatever amount of years ago. But um, yeah, hopefully this is going to be uh, kind of like that diamond in the rough situation right here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, next. Uncanny X-Men number one. I think this is the third, uh, yeah, the third volume of it now. I, uh, I've been doing a very good job of uh, avoiding what's been going on in uh, previews and such like that because I don't want to be spoiled. I really hope this is good. I used to love reading Uncanny X-Men. Um, I kind of died off or I stopped reading it right, when, right before they did the relaunch to the second volume, which again sucks because Uncanny X-Men was the one volume that uh, you know, never had to renumber. And I always, I was always kind of, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of cool, kind of something to be proud of if you were like a reader, you know, especially a big time X-Men fan. I'm not the biggest X-Men fan, I'll admit that, but again, I thought it was pretty cool, but I really hope that they, uh, they do some good things here. And let's see, eh, art looks pretty good, so I don't want to talk about or show any one page or whatever for spoiler reasons, because I don't want to be that dude. So next, what everybody talks about, Superior Spider-Man. Um, I'll be the first one. I like uh, the storyline. Um, again, I haven't read these books, obviously because they just came in the box, but uh, I really like the way Dan Slott's going about it. Everyone, I think, is hating on this way too freaking much. Uh, it's not like Brand New Day. Brand New Day was horrendous. But this, I like the way this direction is going because you don't know where it's going to go. Of course, uh, Peter Parker is going to come back eventually, whenever that, probably that second movie comes out. Um, but I'm a fan. I like it. End of story. Uh, next one, Gambit number eight. I will admit that uh, Gambit is easily my favorite um, X-Men character. Uh, I was always a fan of him uh, ever since like Jim Lee did him in that first X-Men series. Um, so far into it, I think it's a great story. Uh, I met Clay Man. I know he's not doing this uh, issue here, but he was a real nice guy. I talked to him a little bit about the Gambit character. And I'm a huge fan, and I like the way the direction of it is going. And... It's just really good stuff, and, uh, you know, it, I'm just glad they're not doing the whole Belladonna uh, scenario every single picture. Who knows how long that'll last, but as of right now, I'm a fan. I'm liking it. Uh, next one. Punisher Warzone miniseries, uh, limited series, whatever you want to call it. The John Rucka uh, storyline. Um, I don't know why they really had to renumber it. I guess just because it was Avengers and they thought they would sell more. I'm sure that's the reason. Uh, I really love uh, Rucka's um, artwork. I'm sorry, writing on all of this. Uh, I was a big fan of the art. This new look Punisher, I think, is totally badass. I think it's a lot better than the uh, the, the one we've been used to all over the, you know over the years. Just um, if you have a chance, I don't know if it's on trade paperback form. I'm sure you can get the, the back issues on eBay or, or at your local store. Uh, but get a chance to uh, pick it up if you can. It's really fun, uh, really great artwork, and uh, I don't want to say there's a noir feeling to it, but it's it's kind of there. Either way, it's good and it's worth uh, a look see if you can uh, afford to pick it up. Now, something that I thought was pretty interesting. It was a weekly comic book of Punisher. I picked up the uh, first two issues a while back. Uh, Punisher Nightmare. Uh, let's see if I can get the other guy in here. Um, it's just like a total separate mini-series from what's going on in the regular Punisher War Zone. Um, it's good. Again, two issues. There was a lot of backstory going on. Um, so I'm waiting for, uh, you know, shit to hit the fan, so to speak, in the, uh, these next two to three, you know, two to three issues. Um, but I I'm reserving judgment until I finish reading it. It sounds like one of those things where you can't read the first issue or two and judge it. You gotta give the whole thing a chance. So, there's that. Uh, next... Captain America, uh, if you don't like these uh, John Romita, the John Romita artwork in here, I really feel sorry for you. This is just phenomenal. Um, I, I, with an phenomenal artwork uh, with a good storyline, um, I don't know. John Romita is one of the best, so that's really it. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Captain America. I'm giving it a chance before uh, judgment, but I like where the story is going. I think it's very interesting, and um, so far it's uh, been worth picking it up since uh, they've renumbered the whole entire thing. Next, Doctor Who, IDW number one. Uh, I don't hate on Doctor Who, I just don't know much about it. Uh, this is actually for uh, my roommate, he's a diehard Doctor Who fan, so um, I don't know really anything about it. Uh, I kind of want to watch, uh, watch it on Netflix uh, before I give it a chance, but... And I probably will read this book eventually, but uh, like I said, it's my roommate, it's not mine. I hooked him up because he doesn't know how to order comic books properly, so I did it for him. So, 
there you go. My favorite artwork book that's being with an artist. I murdered. Let's start that again. My favorite, my one comic with my favorite artist right now is Fantastic Four. Um, I'm a huge Mark Bagley fan, so the fact that Matt Fraction, a guy who really knows how to write, is on it, is fantastic. I'm really hoping that they do this for a long time. Um, it's just, it's, fa it's fantastic. I, you know, I wish I had a little bit of money so I can pick up the uh, FF. Uh, mini ser uh, series as well, rather. Uh, but right now, everything is phenomenal. Uh, Bagley's art is great. Fraction is writing some real interesting stories. And um, it's fantastic. Uh, hopefully, I can go back and try to get the Bagley uh, alternate covers, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, Avengers. Uh, let's see, is that it? And uh, Avengers. Um, four Avengers books. So far, so good. I mean, I really don't care. Um, I'll give this a little bit more of a chance. Uh, the artwork is fine. I'm not hating on the artwork whatsoever, but I just don't really care for the story. It's it's moving along. It's, it's okay. It's not fantastic. It's not terrible. It's middle of the road. Uh, but again, I'm trying to reserve judgment on see, on uh, these opening series. I at least want to give it a head a head start. So, you know, get at least one under the belt before I can really say anything about it. So far, it's okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean I want to keep on buying it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Uncanny Avengers. Uh, it was supposed to be the huge book when uh, they did the whole relaunch of the whole uh, Marvel Now thing, because it's not a relaunch. Um, I mean, the first two issues were interesting, but um, this is dragging so slow. This was supposed to be the huge marquee, and I think because of uh, the artist, John Cassidy, um, there just been a lot of delays on this book, which, you know, is really unfortunate for Marvel. But, um... Really interesting, the first issue too, but is it enough to keep on going? If it's dragging like this, it can't be really considered the, the key uh, book of the whole Marvel Now thing. But, um, yeah, so far it's interesting. Just gotta see where it goes. I still continue buying it. One of my, my favorite surprise of the whole Marvel Now, probably, is Indestructible Hulk. Uh, Mark Wade and uh, I think it's you, the artist, Linol Yu. I think this is fantastic right now. I really like the way their direction, not even so much as the Hulk, but uh, with Bruce Banner. Um, the whole new aspect of relationship between him and S.H.I.E.L.D. is fantastic. And this is definitely by far the biggest surprise of uh, the whole relaunch. I am loving this book probably more than uh, most other books right now. I really, and it's only, and this is only the third book. So you can easily probably go back. I would imagine to get the original issues if you wanted to at your local store. See if you could pick it up because this is really great. Uh, uh, storylines and the artwork is just second to none. It's fantastic and it's perfect for the whole uh, Hulk uh, kind of uh, larger than life aspect. So there's that. And we're almost at the very end. One series that I am loving with a passion. Daredevil End of Days. I have the, um, the regular cover here and the uh, variant edition. Um, this is Beyond fucking fantastic. Uh, this is a whole slew of artists and writers, so I'm not even going to go into it. But the first issue of this series has been one of the greatest comic books I personally have ever read. This, again, that's more of a, pre a personal preference. But I really, really feel that everyone needs to read this comic book just for... Um, it, there's noir, there's mystery, there's suspense. There's just so many great aspects all rolled up into one. And this is just a fantastic. You don't even have to be a Daredevil fan to really understand it, but uh, it's it's one of my, one of my favorite books that are out that's out right now, and I really think everybody should be picking it up. And I feel sorry for those who don't because it's just that damn good. And last but not least, probably my favorite book that's out as a monthly uh, superhero book right now, and that's the regular Daredevil. Um, what am I going to say? Wade is... Uh, there's a reason why this book has won awards. It is really fantastic. Storyline is great. And they left you on such a good, great cliffhanger on uh, issue 21. Uh, if you don't pick it up, I feel sorry for you. Get the graphic novels. Get the books if you can. Whatever you want to do or can afford. Um, but you're going to get some great literature. Great artwork. And uh, the key is with during Wade's run, just everybody... The artists work great with uh, Mark Wade. There's no way around it. It's just one of the best books out there. And um, you're selling yourself short if you don't pick this up. So, and uh, yeah, that's everything I got right there. So, um, thanks for checking a look. I'll, maybe I'll do some more of these videos when they come out. Uh, hopefully I can get a video, the SketchCon video pretty soon. And hopefully I get a job even sooner. So, thanks for taking a look. Uh, comment, uh, like below. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I didn't bore you all too much. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.